In this video, I'll be helping you complete the Alex topic called Identifying Solutions to a Linear Equation in One Variable Two-Step Equations. In the question, we're given the equation negative 2 times the quantity v plus 8 equals negative 26, and we are given some potential solutions or possible values for v. We just need to figure out which one of these is a solution. So to get started, I'm just going to take the first potential solution, which is 5, that's a potential value for v. I'm going to take our equation and rewrite that equation substituting v with 5. So we would have negative 2 times the quantity, v would be 5 plus 8, close the parentheses, equals negative 26. So to find out if the left-hand side and the right-hand side are actually equal, we're going to have to simplify this left-hand side. And following the order of operations, we would do what's inside parentheses first. And 5 plus 8, that would give us 13. So negative 2 times 13 equals negative 26. And then simplifying a little bit further on the left-hand side, negative 2 times 13. When you multiply and the signs are different, it's negative. 2 times 13 is 26. The right-hand side is negative 26. So we have a true statement whenever we substituted the 5 in for the v. So this is, yes, 5 is a solution, but we also want to test the other values. So now I'm going to move on to negative 10, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to replace v with negative 10. So I would have negative 2 times the quantity negative 10 plus 8, close parentheses, equals negative 26. So now I have a different test to make. But I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to simplify the left-hand side following order of operations. Negative 2 plus 8 is inside the parentheses. When the signs are different, we subtract and keep the sign of the larger. So that is negative 2 with the negative 2 outside equals negative 26. Simplifying the left-hand side, negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4 equals negative 26. Now, 4 does not equal negative 26. So we have a false statement here, and that means that negative 10 is not a solution. If we keep going, I will now test 8. Replacing the v with 8, we have negative 2 times parentheses, 8, which is the v value now, plus the other 8 equals negative 26. Simplifying the left-hand side, order of operations, this would be negative 2 times 16 equals negative 26. Negative 2 times 16 is negative 32 equals negative 26. And since negative 32 does not equal negative 26, this is also not a solution. So we have one value left to test, and that's the negative 2. Repeating this exercise one more time, I replace the v with negative 2, and I have negative 2 on the outside. v is negative 2 on the inside. Everything else is written down the same. And then inside the parentheses, negative 2 plus 8, again, the signs are different, so we subtract to keep the sign of the larger. That's a positive 6. So I've got negative 2 on the outside, positive 6, negative 26. Simplifying the left-hand side, 2 times 6 is 12. The signs are different, so it's negative equals negative 26. So again, this is a false statement. 
this would be no. Only one value gave us a true statement, negative 26 equals negative 26, and that was our solution 5.